Iburu, Iboya, Ibu Cheche, everybody in Cyberland. Making my second video as of right now for today. Why? Because my last video, I was speaking about the Tutu ceremony, right? Which I was participating in because my godfather passed. My father fin, Raibu, Dingue, Intunu, Ochetura, Miguel Alvarez, Varela. With that said, we're running on some short time because in two weeks we have New Year's. And I felt that I needed to express a few things about New Year's that um, I think we get a little bit worked up on. And I wanted to make sure I laid out a couple of foundational things about New Year's within our faith that I think is very important. If you listen to any of the other videos that I have posted a couple of years ago, a year ago or so, right? Something that I've always mentioned was that this is a nature-based nature -based religion, right? There's energies flowing everywhere, right? There's things that are celestial. There are things that we cannot necessarily comprehend with just the normal state of mind. Some people like to look at things logically. Some things, people like to look at things in a scientific way. Um, but what I want to remind you is, how do you look at it? And obviously, if you're listening to this video, it's because you have a peak interest on a spiritual sense or not. Or maybe you're just doing your own research. But what does this all have to do with New Year's? So, typically in New Year's, what people tend to do is New Year's resolutions, right? Some people want to go to the gym, lose a few pounds. Some people want to kick an, addic uh, an addiction of some sort. Maybe it's smoking, maybe it's drugs, maybe it's drinking, I don't know. But everyone has something that they're trying to push towards. Um, and what I want to tell you, for everyone that's listening, okay, is that you don't have to wait for New Year's. Okay. Now, New Year's is a good milestone. It's a good a good point in the calendar to say, on this day, I want to maybe reconfirm some things and maybe need to work towards something because I think time management is super important. I think within this faith, carving the right amount of time in order to reaffirm some things is important. Okay, But you don't have to wait for New Year's to do anything, right? Here's my recommendation. Your New Year's rituals, okay, should be, okay, and call it a New Year's ritual, but it shouldn't just happen once a year, it should happen multiple times a year. I recommend, that at a minimum, maybe you do it every month. Every month, I want you to do this. Ready? It's not hard, okay? I want you to do a bitter bath, a sweet bath. And something that entombs your destiny and your your guardian, right? Something that refreshes your guardian and puts you back in line with your destiny. Bitter bath, sweet bath, align you back to your destiny. Three things. Why do I tell you this? Because every year, there's many rituals that begin to occur, Right? And again, people go into the resolution stages, right? I want to tell you that you'll see a lot of spiritual works being done. A lot of people want to get back into health, prosperity. People want to get back to um, luck, okay? And they're just trying to get into the right rhythm. That's their New Year resolution. But I challenge them to not just do the New Year's resolution for the sake of Hey, it's New Year's, but hey, it's January. And in February, I'm going to do the same thing. And it's not going to cost you tons of money, people. It doesn't. But what it does is it walks you on a path. And it gets you into a rhythm so that you can fulfill your destiny. And you can walk the walk with your guardian on your side so that you can fulfill your destiny. And you can be prosperous. And you can be healthy. And your luck is yours. Doesn't that sound a lot better than you waiting for once a year for you to fully commit? Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't. Now, 
New Year's is right around the corner. And yes, for my spiritual house, my Ile, I absolutely have them do the same thing. But I don't just make them do the same thing in January. I also make them do the same thing in February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Boom. New Year's again. It never changes. Never changes. Bitter bath. Sweet bath. And how do you recommit to your destiny? Okay. Let's talk a little bit about philosophy. Okay, on why that's important. And with New Year's coming up, if that's not something you do already, then why don't you start it? Start at New Year's. Start at New Year's. And then just keep it rolling. Okay, very important. Okay, check it out. Within this faith, you receive your warriors, right? And you receive your awafaka for the males, ikofa for females. Real simple. Real easy. With those ceremonies, you have begun to narrow down what your destiny is. Receiving your warriors begins to open up those doorways where you can begin to manage how do you re how you get to your destiny. Okay, when you receive the awafaka, okay, or ikofa, it gives you an ordu. You receive a sign from them, Baba Lao. And that Baba Lao will talk to you about your sign and your destiny. And it will talk to you with the tigos, meaning that there will be witnesses to those signs, which are other signs. And it will break that down for you so that you can fulfill your destiny. Easy. All right? Okay. Now, if it was that simple, everybody would be leading and going towards their destiny and there would be no problems. But that's not the case. You always run through trials and tribulations. It doesn't matter if you're taking a road trip and you're going from point A to point B. Sometimes you pop a tire. Sometimes you forget to take the exit. Sometimes you're just not paying attention. You fall asleep on the side of the road and you almost crash and you get that that uh, that anxiety or, you, or you, 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 you fall into an issue. That's why it's important and why I tell you, don't wait till New Year's to reaffirm your destiny. Okay? Understand what your destiny looks like so that you can get to it. Okay, now let's talk about how do we get to our destiny, okay? You, when you receive your Awofaka or your Gofa, you receive who is your Gualiane, who's your guardian angel, who's your guardian Orisha, who walks with you, okay? Understanding who that person is, all right? And we say person because we want to manifest them into some form of human being in order for us to to, to kind of understand and better process something mentally so we just say person or isha whatever but it's an energy what's that energy that's with us that's going to assist us in fulfilling our destiny okay now without getting too complicated just understanding those two things your destiny sign your old doom understanding what energy is with you so you can get to that destiny, right? You received your warriors, okay, which is your Ichuelewa, your Guno Chosipat, right? Receiving those aspects will help you guide to have a new year. And not just a new year, but reaffirming where your destiny is. How do you walk with that destiny? Who's around you? What energy is guiding you towards that destiny? And why is it important to get a divination from a Babala? Divine. How are you walking that path? So, just wanted to give you two cents on what the New Year's ritual looks like, right? Everybody's quick to take that bath, okay? But I'm trying to tell you that a bitter bath is good to wipe everything clean. A sweet bath is good to refresh you. And the third thing is you have to divine. You got to find a Baba Lao. Go down with a ruler, please. Figure out if you are fulfilling your destiny. If everything is working um, in, in concoction, all the energies, everything is working with you so you can get to that path. And don't just wait for New Year's. But New Year's is a good starting point. If you haven't been doing it, do it. Okay, if you need help, hit me up. La dot regla dot de dot ifa at gmail. That's la dot r e g l a dot 
d-e-i-f-a at gmail.com or send me a comment hey what's your email hey i would like a consultation i would like to divine with orula so i can understand my destiny more maybe i need you to send me a, a bath a bit of bath a sweet bath maybe i need to understand these new year's rituals which i can now make monthly rituals so i can reaffirm my destiny so i can walk the walk so i can be prosperous lucky healthy tranquil very important i want to make sure i share that with you all and with that being said hopefully you guys got something from this Iburu, Iboya, Bucheche. Happy New Year's. I'm sure I'll make another video before then, but just in case, many blessings to you all. Iburu, Iboya, Bucheche.